How are we doing everyone? Sam here, United People's TV here with a starting 11 show for Man United's FA Cup game against Huddersfield. Last time we were here, we obviously lost earlier in the season. We made up for it on the memorial of the Munich Air disaster by beating Huddersfield at home. But what will Jose Mourinho play after that dismal loss against Newcastle? Who will he play against Huddersfield? Here is my starting 11. Now, first things first, as you can see, that's not a 4-2-3-1 right there. I've gone for a 5-3-2. Now, United have used this on quite a few occasions this season, mainly away. You're looking at CSK in Moscow away in Europe. You're looking at Liverpool away. I think we may have used it at Arsenal away. Not too sure, but it's, it's an away type formation. But I'm not doing this because we're playing away against Huddersfield. I'm doing it because the 4-2-3-1 right now is not working. With a 4-2-3-1, Pogba in a midfield two, he's not happy at the moment. You can see that. Matic looks a bit tired and because of that, Pogba's being dragged into defensive positions. The thing is, he's not really operating there. He's drifting a little bit. Creating space in the middle, it allowed John Joe Shelby to dominate in the Newcastle game. That's why I'm going for a 5-3-2 and I'm going for Rojo, Jones and Lindelof at the back. I think Chris Smalling surely has to be dropped. You know, this isn't a, an agenda, a vendetta against Chris Smalling. He's just been shit. There's no two ways about it. He should be dropped because there's no reason why Rojo and Lindelof, both on the bench against Newcastle, shouldn't be starting ahead of him. And out of Jones and Smalling, I'm keeping Jones in the team because I think alongside two ball-playing centre-backs like Rojo and Lindelof, Jones can just concentrate on defending and then pass them to Shaw and Valencia, who are going to be the wing-backs in this formation. Because in a 5-3-2, the attackers are quite narrow. So the width's going to come from Shaw and Valencia. And I think they are capable of providing that width. For me, looking at this formation, yes, it leaves the likes, well, I won't, I won't spoil who's on the bench, but it leaves certain attackers on the bench. But it just brings so much more depth to that midfield and allows Paul Pogba to operate as a, a number 10. And that's what I'm going for. Pogba's a number 10 with Matic and Herrera as the two holding central midfielders. It means they can concentrate on the defensive duties and Pogba can just concentrate on creating. And in that number 10 role, he can drift out to the left like he did against Everton and was wonderful against Everton. And he played there so well for Juventus, but hardly gets an opportunity there. It's just not working for United at the moment. We look static when we're going forward and something's got to change. And for me, I think that's probably the formation. And that's why I'm going for a 5-3-2. But with Matic and Herrera sitting behind Pogba with Sanchez and Lukaku up front. Yes, that leaves the likes of Martial on the bench, Rashford on the bench, Matter on the bench, Lingard on the bench. But that's one hell of a bench. And you need a strong bench to compete in any competition because you need game-changing players to come on. But you're certainly going to start Sanchez and Lukaku. Or maybe you start Martial and Lukaku. Let me know what you think in the comments. But with this formation, it would allow Paul Pogba to create and drift left, drift right. Be where he wants to be and take away any sort of defensive responsibility he has had in previous games anyway. And then you get Matic and Herrera just concentrating on defence. Protect that defence. You get Sean and Valencia overlapping, creating the width, creating the runners for Pogba, dragging defenders away and then giving Pogba space to attack the edge of the box. For me, a 5-3-2 will get the best out of Paul Pogba. A 4-3-3 will get the best out of Paul Pogba, but a 4-3-3 tends to drift into a 4-2-3-1 anyway, which isn't getting the best out of Paul Pogba. And that is what you have to do when you sign a 90 million central midfielder. You build your team around him. Yes, we've got Sanchez, yes, we've got Lukaku, but their focal point's in attack. Pogba is the heartbeat and the centrepiece of this team. And we've got to start playing towards getting his game going, not forcing him to defend too much. You know, in time, he'll probably adapt and become a better in a central midfield pairing. Start the season, him and Matic in that midfield two were fantastic. But when Matic has dropped off, which he has done the last few weeks, and more pressure comes on Pogba to defend, he's not as good. So for that midfield duo to work, Matic needs to be on form. Now that Matic is not in form, we need to bring Herrera in to support Matic, allow Pogba to dominate from that number 10. I'm going to keep going over it. Now, this is a bit of a different, I suppose, uh, starting 11 show. Instead of doing a predicted 11, this is the starting 11 I would like to see. This is my preferred starting 11. But what's your preferred 11? Let me know in the comments, as always. Drop a like on the video. Fingers crossed we'll see Paul Pogba playing further up than in a central midfield too, but maybe Mourinho's gonna stick with it. I don't know. Anyway, drop a like on the video, subscribe to United People's TV. We'll see you soon.